Have you ever been in one of these museums? Would you like to go to one of these museums? Why did he go to such a museum? I'm gonna react to a video called Amsterdam Top Things to Do, See and Eat in Three Days Travel. This video is made by Larry Kim, who has 499 subscribers, so that's not that much. But this video, which is posted two years ago, has got 72,000 views, which is very good for a channel this size. Right. Hyperlapses, very nice, very nice editing, very nice filming. Finally, I'm reacting to a video that I got respect for. From all these reaction videos before, this is nice. This guy knows how to film, this guy knows how to edit, and probably this guy knows how to tell a story. Banksy, uh, you can see this in the Moco Museum at Museum Square. Banksy, 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 whatever. Hey, what's going on guys? Larry here and on this channel we dive into men's lifestyle and travel. So a few months ago we visited the city of Amsterdam, known for their beautiful canals, bar culture, bloomy tulips, treasure packed museums and of course their coffee shops. But first let me give you some fun facts of Amsterdam. So Amsterdam is located in the Netherlands. So the inner city is divided by networks of canals with 165 islands with 1,300 bridges. I think he stayed maybe in the Rivierenbuurt, the river neighborhood, because I see some shots from there. What I also noticed is that he, uh, he had a sunny day, he had a cloudy day, and that he is British. So that's my observation till now. And he's telling a story. Very good. Very good, Larry. It has over 70 museums. Cannabis is technically legal in the country, so they're known for the colorful tulip season during mid-April. But cannabis is not technically legal. It's technically illegal, but it's tolerated. It's, it's kind of like it's legal, but technically it's not legal. That's the thing. I'm just repeating myself. I'm just repeating myself. I'm just repeating myself. I'm just repeating myself. By the way, he's standing now at the floating flower market, uh, which is at the single canal. Once I made a video about the single a long time ago, and I was also talking about floating flower markets. And the best time to visit would be April, May, and also September to August. Just get a give or take. So that was a fun fact, and now he's 72 hours in April. April, May, or September, August. So not June and July. That's actually what he's saying. I don't agree with that because it's not that hot. It's not like in Malta where you don't want to be when it's like the peak of hotness, like July. When it's summer, it's actually quite nice here as well. So I'd say just those months he mentioned, including July, and June. I mean, I don't know what his reasons are for not wanting to come here in June and July. He's from the UK, so I guess the temperature is the same. Maybe a bit more windy there. I don't know. It's also quite windy here. Tell me, Larry, is it more windy here in the Netherlands or in the UK? Amsterdam. All right, day one. So to start any day off on the right foot, you gotta start. Wait a second. Maybe he's not from the UK. I'm now doubting. Maybe he's from Australia. Well, he's not saying mate yet, huh? or bollocks, because then I know. It's either UK or Australia. Bollocks. With pancakes. So we were recommended to try the pancake bakery in Jordan, and then they were good. So we do out with the French pancake. So we had ghost cheese, honey, pine nuts, and sun dried tomatoes. It was so good. We absolutely like devoured it in like a minute. And of course, we had to go for the sweet pancakes which was the Dutch pancake, and it had strip waffle, cinnamon, ice cream, chocolate flakes, whipped cream, and that was the winner. So after stuffing ourselves with pancakes and coffee, the main reason- Nice, nice, nice. I also, I noticed that he's very fashionable, and he's got very white teeth as well. So yeah, he, he cares about his appearance. What, what is he doing actually? Because he has a small YouTube channel, so he's not a full-time YouTuber. Maybe something in the fashion business, or I don't know. The reason we visited Jordan was to visit the Anne Frank house. So Anne Frank was a 15 year old girl that was hiding during World War II from the Nazis. She's one of the most discussed Jewish victims of the Holocaust as she documented her life during 42 to 44 in a diary. So during our audio tour, we got to see where they were living. And honestly, during this Holocaust period, it's so sad to imagine what they were actually going through. And my advice to you is, if you want to go to the Anne Frank house, make your reservation like months before because it happens 
non-stop that people come here to Amsterdam, want to go to the Anne Frank house and yeah, well, they're not able to go and they will not be able to go for the whole holiday unless they're staying here for a month. A month? That was already before the pandemic and now just very logic that you have to make your reservation before you are here in the Netherlands. And the same goes for quite some popular museums actually. So just check the websites of the museums and see if you need to make a reservation or not. But the popular ones you for sure need to. Okay, I got it. If you think about visiting, it's gonna cost you 12.50 euros and make sure you book online as they do tend to sell out. Well, he's just repeating me. So there's no better way to explore a new city than walk, walk and more walking. However, if you do feel adventurous, you can hop on a bike and you can cycle around. So Amsterdam is known for their bike culture. I approve. So you see bikes all around the city and everywhere you go. So we walked around the Jordan area with its beautiful narrow canals, the trendy buildings and the indie boutiques. So when we were walking around, we found that the area had so many unique different types of stores and a lot of them had museums at the back of them. So we went to a cheese shop and it had a cheese museum at the back and also a tulip shop and it had just a tulip museum at the back. Which are in my opinion probably quite touristic. I mean it's not a real museum. It's the same as that I would open a bakery and then call it the bread museum. Have you ever been in one of these museums or would you like to go to one of these museums? And I wonder actually why did he go to such a museum? So cool. So talking about museums, on our way to the Moko Museum, we pass Dan Square, which is in the center of Amsterdam. So this is where everyone meets up. So you see street performances and live music, perfect for the day and also during the night when the lights come on. So the Moko Museum, so they feature modern and contemporary art. And the main reason we visited was to see Banksy's iconic artwork, such as the girl with the balloon and also love is in the air with the flower throwing. So not only there was a Banksy exhibition, there were also other exhibitions on show, such as the Andy Warhol uh, cause and also Keith Hearing. Just if you like uh, modern art, Moko is probably nice, sure. What I personally would recommend is also the Stedelijk Museum or the Modern Art Museum, which is right next to Moko. I mean, you got Moko, then you got Van Gogh, and then you got the Stedelijk Museum. It's right at the same museum square. Also the Rijksmuseum with Rembrandt is over there. So it's all, it's all at the museum square. The only thing I don't like about Moko is that the museum card is not valid over there. That's also why I hardly go there, AKA never. Just to name a few. So if you're into modern and contemporary art, you definitely want to visit this exhibition and it's 15 euro for tickets at the door. So besides the classic Dutch cuisine, Amsterdam brings a large variety of multicultural cuisines to the landscape. So we were excited to have dinner at Taiko, which is a mission star restaurant that was serving up contemporary Asian cuisine. And wow, we were in for a treat. He's living a good life. So we had a six course degustation with wine and sake. So I'm a big fan of contemporary Asian cuisine and everything that's served had delicious flavor combinations and the sushi and a puree absolutely to die for. If you are going to dine in, make sure to order the yuzu sake with dessert. It was so good, we ordered another glass. So it's a big call. It was so good, we ordered another glass, okay? It's not like a whole bottle, it's just another glass, right? What is the name again? Taiko restaurant des yone subrashi des. It's one of the best Asian fusion experiences that we've had. So the good thing about Taiko restaurant is that it's connected to a conservatorium hotel, which is a five-star hotel that we stay in for our Amsterdam trip. So we had a two-level junior suite with so much room to move around. It was ridiculous. So I love the open space of the main area with their high ceilings. Everyone knows this place. Sure, that's a really uh, nice hotel. And enclosed windows. So back in the day, there used to be three musical institutes in the building, hence the name Conservatorium. So the location is in the posh side of town with the high-end luxury stores and a popular Van Gogh museum. Honestly, if you want to spoil yourself for your Amsterdam trip, this is the place to stay. But actually, it's also next to the Modern Art Museum, what I was just now talking about, the Stedelijk Museum, the Conservatorium Hotel. You might have just visited it as well, or maybe you didn't notice, well, it's hard not to notice this building. Huh? So maybe that's for next time you're here in Amsterdam. All right, so day two, 
We explored the De Pipe neighborhood, which is the Latin Quarter of Amsterdam. We started the day off at the avocado show for breakfast. I think this is also in the neighborhood of the supermarket, which I was talking about. This video right here. I made a video for national Irish television. Amsterdam has adopted an economic model called the circular economy. Hello there, Ireland. Hello there, prime time. Check that out. It's also in the pipe. So if you're going to go to this avocado bar, you might as well check out the Anset supermarket. Amsterdam's the most famous street market, the Kuip market. They say it's the biggest market of Europe. They have... Yes, this is the Albert Kuip market. And it was very bad weather when he went there, as you can see. When it's sunny, it's lovely to go here. You get food, but you also get stuff, you know, I don't know, socks, whatever. Socks? And if you want to buy a fresh stroopwafel cookie you know the real number one cookie of uh, the Netherlands and this is the place to go they will make it fresh right in front of your face and uh, it's still warm you know amazing 260 stands with a mixture of multicultural foods fresh vegetables clothes furniture flowers meats and fish to so everything you would expect from a street market if you're a tourist like me it's best to try the dutch market food like fresh herring or the hot stroopwafel the hot stroopwafel well that's what i said and indeed the herring the fresh herring also at the market and this what he's showing now are poppages little tiny pancakes that would be number three but first the stroopwafel and the herring with uitjes and al gurk lekker you speak dutch the plan was to buy a few things for our picnic and enjoy our time at the park but with the unpredictable weather we got howled on all right so it's just hailing a second ago so we just still cover in a cafe so we just ordered a coffee it's absolutely freezing outside so we'll always bring an umbrella when you have to one moment it's like it's nice and sunny and next moment it's hailing so for yeah 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 hailing even huh well so the day before they, they had a lovely day they wanted to picnic now what month did he go he uploaded it in august yeah he's warning us or you not to go to amsterdam in june and july so maybe he went in june or july i don't know no you know what actually if he did go in june and july there will be hardly any chance of hail he's wearing a, quite a thick coat and he says it's freezing right i guess he went there like i don't know march or something but the rest of the day it just hailed and stormed we were going to go to the i mean look at that jacket over there like what the dude in the back is wearing or and all of them all three of them like this person right here this per person right here this person right here Oh my god he's on to something so it looks to me like march or april max if they weren't close like this it's definitely not august or may i wonder i wonder how i wonder why yesterday he had a blue blue sky but now all that i can see is not even a yellow lemon tree look at that tree there's no yellow lemons just a yellow lemon tree Anakin experience but we made a consecutive decision to go back to the conservatorium hotel and enjoy the facility. So after a big day exploring the city, we have roped up and we're gonna head to the spa for a massage and also a sauna. See ya. There's nothing Amsterdam about this. It's just a nice hotel. If you're here for three days and it's hailing and you decide to go to a hotel, uh, I would just, you know, buy an umbrella and go and explore the city or just wear a hat and accept that you get a little bit wet and cycle around in the rain because you're just here for three days right but i understand different mindsets and i guess he's used to a lot of luxury and uh, sunny weather so maybe he's not from the uk then maybe he is from australia so for dinner i caught up with one of my good friends ash we went to vatten ramen and yes, it is another Japanese restaurant. They had a small room at the bottom and you can watch the boats ride by, which is pretty cool. We had gyoza, ramen, and also a couple glasses of asahi. Asahi, that's the, the beer, huh? the asahi beer. And ramen, well, in Dutch, ramen means windows and not the operating system. All those word jokes, they're all here in my mind. They have to go out sometimes, you know? Amsterdam is well known for their red light district. So prostitution is legal and you will find sex workers in large array behind lit windows. This is right on the street. So people, well, men, mainly men, can walk in and have a good time. And you'll also find sex shows, adult clubs and brothels. So if this is your type of thing, this is the place to be. anyways just nice to walk around there smell the vibes 
Um, and also, these are the oldest streets of Amsterdam. So you can also go there in the daytime. Don't be scared, don't be afraid. People always come up to me and ask me, oh, how can I avoid the red light district? I'm so afraid, I'm so scared. Shall I even, I don't know. And I said, don't be scared, don't be afraid. Just go there, it's okay. Just go there in the daytime. You know, next to the old church, which is in the center of the red light district, there's a very nice bar. You can drink some coffee, check out the church. Look at the dog, he brings his own toy. All right, so day three, which is our last day. Uh, we started with breakfast at the conservatorium with an a la carte buffet. And as you do, we feast. So we literally ordered everything. So from coffees, juices, um, avos, sweets, croissants, literally everything. It was heaven. The main mission today was to see all the beautiful canals and bridges. All right, so everyone... It's a good day, you know, he's enjoying himself with someone else. Very good. This is the Blue Bridge, by the way, the number 10 in the top 10 bridges. If you want to check out the top 10 bridges, check out this video right here. You might think now, hey, wait a second, Tycho, this bridge is not blue. Well, if you want to know more about that, check out this video. All right, so everyone's like, try these fries in Amsterdam. They're the best you'll ever eat. So by doing a little bit of research, we visited Villa Mex Sauce Masters. So they sell Belgian fries with 25 different sauces. And by the time we got there, there was already a massive line of people. So when I got to the front of the line, I asked what we should get. And he recommended the Oolog mix. So we went for it. All right, so we've been recommended the best fries in town and we got chips with mayo. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I think this is the one in the side street of the Kalpenstraat, the Heilige Weg, or in the side street of the Heilige Weg. When you go out, after you went out, you went there for your fries. It's one of the, the best places. I mean, there's a couple of them. So he now has a Patatje Oorlog, which is also one of my favorites. Patatje War, it means. Mayo, satay sauce, and also onions on top. It was so good. It's really, really good. I would recommend this combination next time. You visit Amsterdam. As well as fries, we also got. You know, it really that people in the rest of the world don't have this. You know, to eat their fries with. That's you're missing out, people. You're missing out. This could be a golden opportunity for you. You know, maybe you're Portuguese or Japanese or you're Norwegian. Start a fry bar somewhere. You know, with this sauce, and people will go all in. I mean, seriously. And actually, just copy all the, the sauces from all those bars here and do it in your country over there. You'll be the only one. Genius. Genius, genius. And maybe you can say greetings from Tycho or subscribe to Tycho from Amsterdam as a thank you. I, I give you this idea so you can give me a few subscribers or something. That yeah, would be not more than fair. Some more strip waffle. So good. By walking around, we stumbled across the floating flower market, the Bloemen market. Also, he says stroop waffle, but the pronunciation here in Dutch, if, if, if I'm gonna be a nitpicker, is stroop waffle. Stroop waffle. Stroop waffle, stroop waffle, stroop waffle, stroop waffle, stroop waffle. Stroop. So the market is filled with vibrant colors, fragrance of fresh flowers, and they're open every day from Monday to Saturday. Um, it was nice to see all the flowers, it kind of brightens up the day. So for the rest of the day, we just walked and explored around this beautiful city, and honestly, it's the best way to see any city. Just about this photo flower market, I, I just have to say, don't expect, you know, those Instagram photos or something at this market. It's it's not happening over there, it's very small. But yeah, it's the only flower market here in Amsterdam, so it's still popular eh? and it's also very old. It would be nice if if they made those buildings, you know, from the floating flower market a little bit nicer, like refurbish those buildings that they're in, because it looks all that, I don't know, it looks like plastic and so cheap and dirty and it doesn't do justice, you know? All right, so that's 72 hours in Amsterdam. Oh. The things I would do differently or the things I missed out on. So if the weather was a little bit warmer, I would love to grab a bike and ride around Bono Park and then have a nice picnic by. Anyways, it doesn't matter if it's cold, just grab that bike, man. And maybe you're a little bit scared because the floor is wet. I understand that. But if it doesn't rain, if it's just cold, just go ahead and ride a bike. I already appreciated that this guy is thinking about renting the bike because there's also some people who just not at all feel like riding the bike. They just take the taxi all the time. So we missed out on so many good museums, but there's two I would definitely check out with the Rijks Museum and also the Van Gogh Museum. There's a popular food hall called Food Helen. So they have 20... You know, sorry. Yeah, and he went to Moco, but not to Van Gogh or Rijks. I understand not everyone is the same. But that's the same as going to Paris and you're not going to the Louvre, but you're going to maybe Salvador Dali. Yeah, which is also cool, but he's from Spain. There's a little tiny Salvador Dali museum in Paris, uh, in the Montmartre area. Very small and tiny, and it's really disappointing. But it's the same as going to Paris, not visiting any of those big things, just going to the Salvador Dali museum. And that's kind of a bit the feeling now here 
with you going to Moco, but not to Rijks and Van Gogh, and taking the bike. There's a popular food hall called Food Helen, so they have 21 food stores, and I will definitely check this out next time I visit. So I'd love to visit in April for their tulip season, and it will definitely be a bit warmer from when we visited in winter. All right. Oh, so he visited in winter. Yeah, but why do you not recommend the summer then, uh, Larry? There you have it. So if you've been to Amsterdam, you know a couple of hidden gems yourself. Please let us know in the comments below. And there is a hidden gem right here. Prince Island. You have not been there yet. 99% sure that you watching this video don't know about this place. Just check out this video right here. Find out more about the hidden gem. Of Amsterdam. If you've gotten any value out of this video, consider subscribing, hitting that thumbs up to support the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Larry Lim, very nice edited and filmed, etc. So I just I wonder why is he not making more videos? Why is he just not making videos at all? Okay, so three days ago he posted a video and a month ago. Like there was a year, one year ago, two months ago, so and four years ago, four years ago, two years, two years, two years. One year, one year, one year. So it's like every year he makes two videos or three. But you got so much potential, Larry. Just keep on making videos. I understand you like luxury. So yeah, the Conservatorium Hotel for this, Conservatorium Hotel for that. It's good that you went to the market as well. Um, I just think there might have been some time to go to the food hall and maybe another museum as well. But I think you really enjoyed each other. I had you were there with your lover or something, I guess. You're enjoying each other, just having a relaxed time. Not like chop, 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 we need to go here and there. Oh yeah, and Frank, that's very good that you went there. So, I mean, you, you made your reservation before. So, oh no, you did a great job, I think. Larry, give Larry some love. His links are down below in the description. And remember, if you got any suggestions, let me know at tigelfromamsterdam at gmail.com, reaction in the title, and I look forward to your suggestions.